If you're like me, you first discovered the Little Rascals on television. They've been a staple on TV for so many years, in fact, I'm sure many people don't realize these films were originally shown in theaters, where they bore the name Our Gang. Today, it's rare to see a short film of any kind in a movie theater, but in the 1920s and 30s, when Our Gang flourished, they were a staple of the movie-going experience. In those days before television, you didn't just see a feature film. You got a whole evening of entertainment. Many people, often entire families, went to the movies at least once a week. The feature was usually preceded by a series of selected short subjects. That might include a cartoon, a newsreel, a travelogue, a musical, or novelty short, and a comedy. This is where Laurel and Hardy, The Three Stooges, and Our Gang got to shine. The two-reeler, which ran 20 minutes, was a perfect vehicle for slapstick comedy. Rascal comedies like Shiver My Timbers, Choo Choo, and Divot Diggers would have played in theaters right alongside the top feature films of the day. And while moviegoers might not have paid specifically to see Our Gang, they enjoyed having them on the bill. And yes, there were special Saturday matinees for kids, when comedies like these were also most welcome. But in the mid-1930s, the movie industry started to change. Audiences who were strapped for cash during those depression years were susceptible to any promotion that offered them more for their money. In some theaters, that took the form of contests and giveaways. In others, it resulted in the double feature. People liked the idea of getting two movies for the price of one, but that left little time for those selected short subjects. Producer Hal Roach saw the writing on the wall and also on his financial statement, and so he phased out his shorts production, moving Laurel and Hardy onto feature films full time. He was going to ring down the curtain on Our Gang, but his distributor, MGM, prevailed upon him to continue the series in a one-reel format, 10 minutes instead of 20. Roach agreed, and in 1936, Our Gang made its one-reeler debut with a short called Board of Education, which also introduced studio discovery Rosina Lawrence as the Rascal's new school teacher. Well, the new streamlined series was a great success, and Board of Education earned the gang an honor it had never known before, an Academy Award for best short subject. last much longer, when all of a sudden, I threw one of me cutlasses overboard. And with the one I had left, I started swinging faster and faster. Faster and faster, I swung me trusty cutlass. Then what did I do? What did I do? You just swung that rusty cutlass, I guess. No. No. Just then they started towards me, and my cutlass was going around so fast, just like a lawnmower, and it slashed off every one of their heads. Mm-hmm. You what I call a head man, bro. Yeah, tell us about Bruce Larson and the cannibals. Tell us the one about where they had the horse and breakfast. Are you going to play hooky again? Oh, don't be. I joy. Tell her, go on to school if you want. I'm going. Go on. Now, here's a story I've never told you before about my voyage to the pole. Is that where the cats come from? What cats? The pole cats. We had a pole.
little cat and I have one. And boy, did we take a trip. Oh, you vacated, huh? Vacated nothing. We fumigated. So, they're playing hooky at the dock again. And the cat is telling them sea stories. Oh, I thought so. And he just killed another hundred pirates. He did? Well, wait till I tell that captain something. You'll be monitoring until I return. Yes, teacher. And there, coming over the snow, was a flock of polar bears. Polar bears? Yes, sir. What, did somebody die? What do you mean, did somebody die? And those Johnson who started off in his coffin, he had a flock of polar bears. Well, after we got out of that mess, the crew was taken by malaria. Where did she take them? Who took who? Did you say malaria took them someplace? I said they were taken by malaria. I didn't even know she was there. Who, who was there? What the lady you was talking about. What lady? Malaria. Captain, what are you going to sign us kids up? Mm, sometime. You know, we want to be treasure hunters and pirates and have swords and guns. South Sea Islands in about 1800. Hi, Missy. Where are those children? Children? You should be ashamed of yourself, keeping those little children from school. Me keeping them from school? Yes, you, filling them up with wild windjammer stories until I can't do a thing with them. Lord, Missy, I'm sorry. Well, I, I was only being sociable to the little tars. I didn't know. I don't want to tell their parents. But I guess I must. Well, I... I didn't understand your side of it, Lassie. I'll not be telling them any more stories. Please don't. You're here! Children! Children! Come out there, every one of you! Come here! Come out! Come You children have played truant for the last time. I'm going to report you to your parents. Oh, gee, Miss Crabtree, don't tell my pop. Yes, I am going to tell your papa. Are you going to tell my pappy? I certainly am. Well, you have to wait 30 days because he's in jail. Missy, I've been thinking this thing over. I have a little plan, and if you'll help me, I think I can cure those kids of wanting to go out to sea. Now listen. Why will my pop swab my pants when he finds this out? Yeah, I wish I was a pirate. Pirates never have to go to school. Yeah, what good is school anyhow? Now you leave it to me. When I get them on board the ship, I'll cure them of ever wanting to be pirates and treasure seekers. Call me out. I'll get even with her for that. A while ago, you fellas wanted a ship with me. Now I'm shoving off tonight. Do you still want a ship with me? Sure, I'll sing with you. All right. Here. Sign your name in that book. And come back here tonight when it's good and dark. Hey, Captain. Can I have a cutlass? What kind of a cutlass? I want a veal cutlass.
Well, if we all want to be pirates, let's get going. Sign aboard this ship. Why, he's just killed two men down below. Yes, sir, he's worse than Fruit Larson never dared to be. Boy, he's a killer. He's a killer. That coat. Yes, sir. Come on, get over there. Come on. Hey, come here. Did I tell you to swab the deck? I forgot. You forgot? Kick that. Hey, you, Sai, come over here. Tell you to weigh the anchor? I did. Well, what did it weigh? Forgot. You forgot? I got. Hey, you, come over here. I ain't that. Don't you I ain't me? You two, come over here. What are you doing over there? We don't know. You, you don't know. My heart is bad. 
I'm bad all over! Why, that man is bad. Shut up! I'm worse than Brute Larson. I'm worse than Captain Kidd. I don't know any damn gentlemen. Remember, I'm the boss. Mr. Boss, you can lost that taste of being pirate. Ho, ho! So you're going to back out first, eh? Hey? Uh-uh, look like we're all going out feet first. We want to go home and go to school. Home? School? Why, you're a thousand leagues out to the sea. Hey, crew, can you imagine they want to go home and to school? <laughs> what are you laughing at? I'm laughing at you, Captain. Oh, you are? Well, I'm... You are. Hey, Captain, a typhoon. <laughs> A Chinese typhoon? Yeah, yeah. Into the hold! It's your only chance! Come on, get out! A Chinese typhoon is on us! Come on, get in the chest! It's our only hope! Come on, get in there! You in here! It's the only hope we got! Come on!
get out of this. We'll never play hooky again, will we, George? And we'll never be dead again, neither, will we, Weezer? No, sir, I did look great. <laughs> hey, look here. Look at that. Hey, put some of this ketchup on my head. Hey, touch it. Maybe let me see. That, that's the idea. That's it. Pour it up. I mean, now, listen here. You fellas stay in here. I'll go out. When you hear me say the pirates have got the ship, then you come out, you hear? Hey, 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 hey. And you'll never want to be pirates again? Never! Oh! Oh, I'm done for! The pirates have got the ship! Every man for himself! Go! Don't you want to fight Indians? Sure. Well, then stick to me. Come, children, now. Stay close together. Follow me.
sleeping so much on the train, we're kind of tired of. What's that? You getting tired of eating? Yeah, fried chicken and gravy and watermelon and chocolate drops and turkey and soda pop and ice cream and ham and eggs candy and gingerbread and then more chicken and all kinds of jelly. It sure gets me down. Baba Eden could never get me down. Gee, you guys are sure lucky. We'd like to sleep and eat on the train. Would you kids really like to take our places? You said a mouth full of roasters, brother. Well, all you got to do is change clothes with us and hop on that train. I'm very sorry, lady, but this is the mail train. We've got to leave right on time. Oh, what will I do? Now, don't you worry. I reported the matter to the police, and they'll find them, and I'll send them on the very next train. Oh, this is terrible. Come on, lady, we got to go. Don't worry. Everything's all right. You know, children are just put on this earth to worry people. But you'll have some of your own someday. <sighs> police! Here are the missing kids. I found them down the street. What do you children mean by running away? What do you see? Shh! Oh, Mr. Henderson, here's the missing orphans. You'll have to take charge of them and take them on the train. What? What? Let me, let me take charge of these brats? What does that guy mean, brats? We'll get him. I'm doing the best I can, so there. Well, do better than that. Oh. Now, little men shouldn't do that. <laughs> oh, these are not my children. Thank goodness for that. You know, I'm going to take care of that baby for him. Okay. Here, let me take care of the sweet little baby. Well, thank goodness. Here, take your brand. Take him some manners. Smarty. I think we ought to put him in 
Oh, you children. It makes me so angry. Now listen, you stay here and you'll be good. Or I'm, or I'm going to pinch you when I come back. <laughs> it served him right. He's going to sleep with me tonight. Yeah, but you have to get him out of here. Go on, Pete. Sit to Pete. Get him. Get him.
boys on this here job, and they're up there. So for heaven's sake, don't wake up. My nice little boys on yeah. here. Shh. Hey, boys. Say, do you want a, a nice little present? Yeah. Well, then I'll, I'll give it to you, but don't do anything till I tell you, see? I'm going to throw you off of this train. Yeah, well, you just try throwing me off your old train. I dare you. I defy you. And you, too. Oh!
name, Mr. Henderson? Yes. I have a telegram for you. Oh, more trouble. Take that telegram. Read it to me. Mr. Henderson, you've got the wrong children. Bring them right back. Oh. I can't take it upon myself to pay you more. I would in a minute. Come on, fellas, let's go. This is going to be a day for golf. You know? say it is. Well, well, hey, 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 where's well, the caddy? No, 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 no caddy. That's right. All right. <laughs> well, old boy, here we are. Yeah. Well, gentlemen, I'm afraid I have a little bad news for you. Uh, yeah? There isn't a caddy on the place. What? what? Do you mean to tell me we've got to carry these bags all up and down these hills? Well, I'm afraid so. They all walked out on me. Say, listen. You get us some caddies, or we'll walk out on the club. Right. Well, I'll do the best I can, but well, it's... go ahead. Go ahead and get somebody. Anybody. Just so long as they can carry a bag. Yes. And hurry! Go. Hurry! <laughs> some boys around here. What do you want with them? I want to give them a chance to make some money. Oh, yeah! When do we start? Right now. Oh, boy! Yeah, swing like that, you will. Well, uh, gentlemen, I uh, 
Got you some candies. <clears throat> Well, Mr. Jackson, is that your idea of caddies? Well, it's the best I could do. What do they know about golf? Well, he's... He shot a 74 yesterday. 74 strokes for 18 holes? No, that was just for the first hole. But I cut it down to 64 for the second. <laughs> what in the world is that? Now, don't tell me that's a caddy. I'm going fishing. Ah, don't be like that. Come on, tee up your ball and start to play golf. Don't be a baby. Come on. Told you kids to keep quiet. Don't make any noise while I'm driving. I say, John, you are up. Come on in here and see what you can do. <laughs> All right. All right, off the tee. Well, that's pretty good. Well, it's fair. Not bad. Go ahead. Ten to one, he misses it. Say, if you boys think you're good, just keep your eye on this shot. <laughs> You go get your ball. Uh, no, thanks. I'll use this one. <laughs> now, keep your eye on this ball. Did you hear that, Pete? Hey! Now, boys, <clears throat> you'll see some hitting. I hope mm -hmm. so. Yes. You're supposed to watch the ball, not chase it. Don't laugh. I'll hit it. Set on your chin, kid. On whose chin? <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on, let's play golf. All right. All right. Come on, Teddy. Hey, 
What's the matter with you? You run. Hey, that ain't my bag. Monk's got your bag. The, the monk. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Are you my caddy? Hey, do I have to play this ball? Why, certainly. Well, all right. That's two or three. Try it once more. I'll hit it this time. Go ahead and put Bill. He won't be here for a half hour. Come on. Oh, a caddy. How does this green break? I'll do without you. Forty-seven, but I got it in. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, my clubs! Get out of there! Get away from here, will you? Go on, get out of here!
What a life. 210 days of school until next vacation. Yeah, this vacation was over like that. You mean like that? Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Did you kids see the new teacher yet? No, I don't want her. Me neither. Me neither too. Mm. New teacher, bah. I bet she's just like all the rest. They're all the same. I bet you make us do the same old stuff. Same. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Good morning, dear teacher. Good morning to you. I wish there was some way that we could get out of school today. Me too. Me too, neither. Mm. I know how. How? You just tell her that you've got a toothache and you need me to take you home. But I haven't got a toothache. Well, you will when I get through with you. What's that for? That's going to be your toothache. about to 20 children. Right away, please. Children, I'm Miss Lawrence, your new teacher. She's beautiful. Beauty's only skin deep. We'll start the term by singing good morning. Sorry. Perhaps a dose of castor oil. Oh, no, teacher. She's just got a toothache. Oh, that's a shame. Maybe you'd better go home. Yes, ma'am. Do you need someone to help you? No, ma'am. I mean, yes, ma'am. Do you mind taking him home? No, I don't mind. Come on, pal. Does it hurt very much? It sure does. Boy, am I smart, and did we fool her? Tell me. <laughs> 
Too bad you kids are sick. You're gonna miss a lot of swell ice cream. Boy, are you smart. Forget it. Let's see what this is all about. You were going to take the little sick boy home. Um, funny thing, teacher. He's all well now, aren't you? Are you well enough to sing? You bet he is, aren't you? Then come in. Here, let me do that. <laughs> the stopper's caught in my throat. have the ice cream. Come on, pal, do your stuff. Believe me if all 